Welcome Protégé to this video tutorial on how to use heat set threaded inserts for your 3D printed projects. If you've ever done threaded holes for 3D printing then you know that they don't always turn out that great. Especially with the cheaper 3D printers that are available. So I like to use these threaded inserts. So all you have to do is make the recommended hole size in your part, heat the threaded insert, and slowly push, push it into the hole. So I already have my, my 3D printed part and I have these threaded inserts from Inatech. This comes in a really nice case and it even labels each insert which is really nice because sometimes it, it doesn't come with the labeling so you don't know what is what. But these come with a number 4, number 6, number 8 and M2, M3, and M4's heated inserts. And these are nice because they come with try to zoom in on this for you guys. These have little grooves on the outside so the material creates a stronger bond. When you go to insert it into your hole and then you go to screw in your screw the insert won't spin with your screw, it'll have that strong bond. I'm using a Weller soldering iron. I already have the heat set insert attachment. You could use a soldering iron tip, but you want to be careful because sometimes the, the tip goes past the insert and if you push it in too far then it will start to melt the plastic. So I'll give you an example. The tip actually goes past the threaded insert so you want to be careful with that if, you're, if your hole isn't deep enough. When you use the heat set tip, you can see that the tip doesn't go, doesn't protrude out of the threaded insert. For this 3D printed part, I used number six holes. And what's also nice about this kit is it actually gives you the recommended hole size. So I'm using uh, number 6 and it says to the optimal hole size is 0 0.206 or 0.185 to 0 0.206 inches. So I usually do a number in between those and I'll do something, I'll do around 200 mils. If you make the hole too big then the material won't adhere to the, to the metal. And like I said, when that happens, then your screw or your insert will spin with the screw when you try to screw it in. Make sure you put the insert in the right way. You can't really tell in this picture, but on one end, the metal flares out a little bit. So you want that side to be on top. Once your soldering iron is done heating up, go ahead and place the insert on top of the hole that you made in your part. Insert the soldering iron into the insert. Give it a minute to heat up and slowly press it into the hole. And then stop once that flare end reaches or is flush with the, the surface of the 3D printed part. So it's in there, it's in there nicely. Be careful not to touch the, the insert because it's still pretty hot. I'll go ahead and do this one for you.
press your soldering iron onto the insert and slowly press into the hole. And now we have placed two of the inserts into the holes. That's it for this video tutorial. If you like what you saw, please subscribe below or leave a question or a comment. Thanks.